God damn. What are you cooking? We're cooking your mother. And let me tell you, she makes a fine pot roast. That fucking pig. Oh, dude, that was so rude. I'm so sorry. All right. What the fuck? My vibrator was on. <laughs> bro, I'm like a vlogger, bro. Look at that shit. I'm like a vlogger. I'm like a vlogger. Fuku. Hameen. Yup. Yodi gang. Need I say more? Yo, I'm about to take a trip to Pendulum City. Shall we? Alright, we tripoded up crazy. It's time, dude. Okay, what am I cooking today, chat? Today we are making um making mochiko chicken and onigiri. That's what we're making. Okay? Alright, let me do a little bit of dishwashing. How do you spell not like that? Not like that. That's for damn sure. See this right here? See this? Oh, wipe your mom's ass. That useless bitch. Right. Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna make a shit ton of rice because because I'm I'm definitely gonna eat more rice because that's what I live on. I'm beating the shit out of this rice right now. God damn. Got my hand all up in there, splashing, getting me all wet. Oh damn, she a squirter, ain't she? Sorry you guys aren't getting rice washing action. I just don't wanna get my phone all wet. Alright chat. I never here's a here's a here's a tip. Here's a tip, okay? When you're making rice, right? You, you don't need to measure your fucking water or rice or any of that, dude. Who cares? There's only one thing you need. And that is the ancient finger technique. And no, I'm not talking about the one that I used on your mom. See, all you need to do here, right? You take, you t simply take your finger. See this line? You see this line on your finger? This line right here? You just touch the tip of the rice. And if the water hits that line, you're good to go. You're good to go, bro. Ancient technique. Bro, that probably every Asian person knows ever. Like in the history of the world. I don't even know what- What am I telling you guys this shit? You guys probably already know this. Can I put this Johnson away? Hold up. Oh, shit. Hopefully you guys don't fall. Alright. Rice is cooking. What do we do now? What, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're making- Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're making mochiko chicken. Alright. In here. Right? Is our- Chicken thighs cut into one to two piece, or god damn it, one to two inch pieces probably. Yeah, I don't know. I just, just cut them into equally sized pieces. And I forget what I put in here. The in the marinade, I mean. So uh, when I make this a YouTube video, I'll just put it like right here or something. It's from a restaurant in Hawaii. All right, let me give that a nice little massage. Get all up in there, all up in that crack. Okay, now. The chicken, the chicken, the goddamn chicken. We're going to get our mochiko flour. You see that? And our regular flour. Where is our regular? Where is my regular flour? Oh, I know where it is. It's over here. I'm in my pantry right now. I should probably pull pull this with two hands. I'm putting you guys down real quick. Oh, come on, mother! Oh, you bitch! Right here, the gas. Oh, I forgot my apron. Dude, I wasn't wearing my apron this whole time. Alright. Make a drudge now. Or our dry shit, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. You guys think I'm a fucking chef or something? We're gonna go in equal parts mochiko and all-purpose flour. I'm too lazy to measure out equal parts, so let's just eyeball it and pray that I don't fuck it up. Oh, I'm about to make up a goddamn mess opening this. Oh shit. Oh my god. There there she goes. All over the goddamn floor. No, I just got flour on my fucking cast iron, dude. God, fuck, dude. Fuck. Fuck, room. All right, we got our mochiko flour in there. Got our all-purpose. Oh, we had a little bit of mixing. All right. Move you guys real quick. We're gonna move you. Is this safe? Dude, this is so unsafe, bro. Oh, this is not gonna go well. All right. All right. You bastards. It's time. I'm gonna double dredge. I want that extra skin. Hopefully our rice is done by the time so we can uh so we can make our onigiri right after. Now chat, I know this may not see safe, but don't worry, I'm a I'm a trained professional chef. This paper towel will not catch fire. 
even though it's right next to the flame in case of a fire the paper towel must simply stop drop and roll all right now we just wait we just wait for our oil to come up to temp or we're chilling all right what do we do while we wait what do we do while we wait does anybody want to have sex dude does anybody know how to get rid of this okay so my mouth is dry right right here i bet you can see that shit, dude you see this right here right here is dry on the edge of my mouth and it fucking hurts dude how do i get rid of it it keeps opening because whenever i talk i open my mouth i open my mouth and it fucking opens dude just wait it out you know what's bad cat it, it's gonna scar and i'm gonna have something here because i literally pick at it when i wake up i'm like oh shit. I, I gotta pick at my scab dude you probably you wanna know how i got these scars it's dry dude that's how i got these goddamn scars did i throw some ass chat maybe maybe that'll heat up the oil faster if i get my house nice and hot by throwing some ass no oh my god bro i forgot to buy cabbage dude oh my god i was gonna do it classic bento style i was gonna put it the karaage over some cabbage bro and then make my my world famous sesame oil dressing dude and put it over the cabbage and then put the fucking put the goddamn karaage on top put the god uh, dude oh man uh, we'll just have double rice we'll have double rice that's how we'll do it dude i haven't made onigiri in so long though but don't worry chat there's an ancient technique to making the perfect onigiri shape okay are you listening are you listening so the first step is to go and search it up on Google because I've literally been asked at making onigiri since I was a kid, dude. Tuna? No. No. We were gonna do salmon, but I forgot to buy salmon. But we have salmon furikake, so we're just gonna use that. Alright, okay, let's go check the oil temp. Press station cam. Dub. Yeah, I'm gonna double dredge. Nice. That looks good right there, no? But this shit is gonna be plant tasting. I'll promise you, man. Almost done, chat. Not really. We have a fuck. Dude, how much fucking chicken did I cut up, bro? It looks like the infinite chicken glitch. Alright, chat. I say. We take a little taste test to a flip. Yeah, I'm about to take a trip to Mochiko City, shall we? Blow, 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 blow. So juicy. That burns in bigger ranch. I should make a uh, Korean fried chicken sauce with this. Like, get a little glaze. But then again, I'm just like way too lazy for that. I would recommend it though. I would recommend it. I'll be like super delicious. Mochiko flour always has a tendency to look lighter than it is when it comes out of the fryer. So I always pull it a little bit early. Oh my god, Chai, we still have to make the onigiri. Fuck, I forgot. You know, just a tip from experience. It's definitely good to let this marinate for at least six hours. Because you want that shoyu to penetrate nice and deep. Alright. While that's finishing up, let's start making our onigiri. And don't judge me, because I haven't made onigiri since I was super young. And even when I did, I fucking sucked. And you should probably let the rice cool down and not what do what I do right now, which is really fucking dumb. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it right now. But you should definitely let the rice cool down because you're gonna be handling this with your bare hands. So for onigiri, you need a nice bowl of cold water because you're gonna be working with some wet ass hands. So this is how I season my rice. And I usually, I love my stuff with salmon, but I forgot to buy salmon. Plus I'm broke and salmon's really expensive. So I didn't want to buy salmon. But here's the next best thing. I bought furikake. Look at look how sick this is, chat. I bought furikake that has salmon in it, dude. Isn't that crazy? All right, to season my rice, this is what I use personally. Uh, you can honestly use whatever you want. There's no specific way to season your rice. A little bit of rice wine, a little bit of meat in there, some sesame oil, and just like a touch of shoyu, not a lot. Just a real little bit. Mix up that John, get them all up in there. Now it's time to get messy. Get your hands nice and wet. And get in there both. Oh yeah, okay, the rice is so hot. Ah, what the f 
God, I'm like burning my hands. Nine degree burns, dude. Nine degree burns. Is that even a thing? It is now. That's what I'm getting, bro. And then now I'm gonna go in with the furikake. Got a good amount in there. Just mix that Johnson up. All right. Now here you go, chat. Now I'm not gonna say this is a uh, the method, but this is my method. Okay. I'd say get a nice handful. I want to make big bitches, so we're gonna we're gonna get a nice fucking handful right there into the plastic wrap. And then here we go, here we go. Here's the shaping technique. Look, look at the hands. Watch the hands. Holy! F look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see? Do you see the shape forming, chat? See the method? I'm not a child no more. I'm an onigiri god. Holy shit, dude! Giga Chad. Need a no rap attempt? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who do you think I am, dude? Think I'm John Onigiri? Are you crazy? Oh, the two chat, look at that! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, it's so perfect! It's so perfect! I'm him! I'm him! Chat, I'm him! Alright. Let's play it. Best part of any cooking stream. Boom, boom. Got some chicky on there. Oh, I forgot Negi, bro. I guess, well, all we have for garnish, we have no color for garnish. That's a little tragic, but we'll just go with some sesame on top. So dash of shichimi. All right, chat. That's it. There she blows. Cooking stream over. Here we go, chat. Final look before it gets devoured. All right. Mochiko chicken, double dredge it, chat. Double dredge it back into that marinade. That is undefeated. That is undefeated. Oh my god. The thing about mochiko, mochiko chicken is that it has that crunch, but it's a very subtle, soft crunch. And just the chicken is juicy and it just fucking explodes with that flavor, bro. That garlic, that ginger, that shoyu. And just a hint of that sweetness. Oh, it's so good. Uh, damn. Now we hit it with the, hit it with the salts. Oh my goodness. This complements it perfectly, bro. Crazy. That shit is too good. Alright. Now for the onigiri. Cheers. Them perfectly. You got me. It's so simple, bro. So fucking simple. Like, you can't beat this shit. It's classic home food. It tastes like home. It literally just tastes like home. You can't beat this shit. I'm telling you. This is how we're gonna do cooking shrimps now. You guys need to tell me what to make. That's how we're gonna do it now. Because I only know how to make just like. Classic Hawaiian and fucking Korean and every, just Asian, literally just Asian. That's all my, as far as my knowledge extends. Okay, I mean, I, I don't mind if you.